Hey everybody, my name is Koen Bultz from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it is that time of the week again. It's time for new arrivals and this time it's the first time that we do new arrivals on our new website. And to celebrate our new website we have a nice discount. Uh, so go check out the website, go browse around it and if you see any bugs or if you can help us with anything else that you like or don't like, just shoot us a message and uh, we can improve. But enough about the website, right now it's time for guitars and we picked five beauties for you again. So let's kick off with the first one. So the first one is a very nice master build and as you know master builds are incredibly difficult to get. Some master builders have lead times up to nine years and we got our hands on this beautiful 1965 Gregfester uh, Strat with racing stripes and it's in a super cool finish. It's ice blue metallic and I think everything together they did a great job on this one. Gregfester is really popular and really good master builder. And what's really cool with these master builds is that they always get the first pick on the best wood. So the weight is always good, the sound is always resonant. And they captured all these details into this guitar. So you have a very nice, light, resonant guitar, uh, which amplifies, also sounds great. So the next one up is quite a rare one. It's um, an ES355. And I think we all know whose ES355 this is. So this is a Keith Richards inspired ES355. Beautiful VOS finish. She's a few years old, um, but she's been taken care of really well. So the ES355 is slightly more luxurious than the ES335, which is his little brother. So you have the ebony fretboard, the block and lace, uh, the purfling is a little bit wider, the gold hardware of course, and the Bixby trim to, uh, yeah, to make it all complete. batch that we got in last week is a gift that keeps giving and just a few more rolled out of the workshop and uh, including this one and this is a beautiful D35S 12 string from oh, 1967 so that means beautiful Brazilian back and sides spruce top it's a 12 fret and what it does it shifts everything back so you get this immense rich sound and that compared with the uh, that paired with the Brazilian rosewood on the back and sides it's just a joy to hear. Uh, the guitar plays really nice. There's still some saddle left. Um, so this one is ready to rock and roll for a few more years. Next one up is uh, is one that's quite rare. It's a Dermot McElroy A66, and Dermot's guitars have been immensely popular in the store uh, because they have this really nice European sound blended with some Western influences. So you get these guitars for folk, but also for um, uh, light strumming. They they are really cool. Um, this guitar is an A66. That means walnut back and sides. Beautiful flame in there. And then the spruce top is Val de Vienne. And Val de Vienne is the valley where Stradivarius also got his wood from. And it's, it's picked really carefully. And you can see that back on the top as well. And it gives this super rich tone that has a lot of overtones as well. Um, yeah, I, let's just listen to this guitar. It's a joy. <laughs> The 
last but not least, we got one more vintage piece for you. And this one has been with us a little bit longer. So it's a 1966 Hummingbird. Um, so this one has been restored by us. So, uh, some loose braces were glued and right now she's ready to play. And what's really cool about this one, uh, the hummingbirds in particular, and especially when you got, got these old uh, 60s hummingbirds, is that they have this really nice midi tone. So there's no bass, there's no treble. And sometimes when people pick up a hummingbird for the first time, they think, well, this guitar is a little bit soft, but it's exactly where they are meant to be uh, uh, made for because with this really nice MIDI sound, you get the perfect recording guitar. You don't need to cut away any bass, you don't need to cut away any trebles, and you get this iconic guitar sound that everybody knows from the records. Um, yeah, again, you need to hear this on a demo to really understand what I'm talking about. So let's go to the demo. That's it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. As always, let us know which one is your favorite. And if you want to have any more details, go check out our website, our new website, or give us a ring, send us an email. Uh, we're happy to help you with all the questions yet you have. Um, for now, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Cheers. Cheers.